Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Sun Up on 7. Congratulations to all the winners from our previous segment when we talked about the Ministry of Sustainable Development, Climate Change Management, and Risk Reduction. So, of course, oh, congratulations. And I hope that Orange Kenya show up to Louisiana Nature Park for an informative awareness fair that's going to be happening. And it's time for our second conversation, and she is gracing us. Today, we have Destiny. Who is Miss Earth? Wow. It's her first TV appearance, so we're so excited for that and so thankful. So Destiny, Destiny Wagner, Wagner that yes. is giving us our first TV appearance in Belize because you know she's been all over the place, and so we're just thankful she's that she's finally you've been, landed like, on our couch. Yes, <laughs> we've had you on Zoom before, but it's really nice to just see you in person with the crown and everything, guys. She looks even more better in person, just letting yes, you know does. that like ten mm -hmm. times even better. You like she's graceful, gorgeous, every single thing. And so we're just so happy to have you here. And let's start off the conversation with how you're doing. You know, you've been traveling a lot. You know, you tell me how your, your apartment probably pick up dust, but you're not even there so much. How have yes. you been doing mentally? I am doing very well. It is a lot of responsibility and a lot of work, but at the end of the day, this is what I signed up for. And it's a great opportunity, not only for myself, but to represent Belize to the best of my ability. There are days where I'm extremely tired, but it's definitely worth it. Everything is worth it. Love it. Thank I you love so it. much. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's like your commitment, as you said, right? But it's also, I, I, I sense that it's something that brings you pleasure, that brings yes. you joy, you know, connecting with people, also being an ambassador for the earth, for conservation and protecting our natural resources. So your fit, that crown fits you perfect. Thank you yes. so much. So we're excited about what Miss Earth has been up to. Can you give us a synopsis? We've been seeing you in magazines and Ooh, all over dresses. looking fabulous. <laughs> Give us an insight. We need to what? show those dresses on the screen, guys, because yeah. if you don't see, your knee is sick. It's like, I don't know, I don't have a favorite yet. Like, they're just so gorgeous. Yeah, like, I don't have a set schedule. My schedule varies, like, every single day something can pop up and I have to attend. And that could either be in Belize or that could be abroad. Like, last month I went to LA for one day. One day, and then I turned, you know, that really hurt me. <laughs> but, but, you know, it had to be done. I've been doing some magazine photo shoots as well and been partnering with a lot of organizations in Belize. So I'm hoping to continue the momentum and continue to travel and advocate for the planet. Definitely. I, oh, I, and this is me in Vietnam. That's yes. you in Vietnam. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You've recently uh, partnered with the Ministry of Blue Economy, right? Yes. You're their ambassador. What's, what's the project and that collaboration about? So this is more so being a spokesperson for them and helping them push the blue agenda and promoting marine conservation. So today we actually will be planting mangroves at Seashore Park. So if anyone would like to come join us, we'll be there um, this morning from 9 to 12. Awesome. Oh, it looks like I found out what I'm going to be doing now. Yes, definitely put on your, your pants and your t-shirt and let's get dirty. And let's get I love dirty. that. And for people that are wondering, I don't want to get myself dirt. Guys, honestly, there's a thrill in just knowing that you've planted this. You're like It's there because of your hand, your sweat and everything. Yeah. And but you getting can go dirty back is look. also therapeutic, right? Yes, it is, actually. Just feeling the yes. soil, being oh. in the ocean is and just so therapeutic. And here I am planting. A this plant is called the Milady, and oh. that was in Chanchich uh, over the weekend. Oh, wow. This past weekend. So you've really been doing stuff a lot. And so can you tell me, out of all your travels, what has been something that has stood out to you, it's been very memorable, that you can't forget so far? I would definitely have to say my most recent trip in Vietnam. Uh, I didn't really go in with any expectations, but everyone was so nice and welcoming. And to me, it was such a sentimental moment because a lot of these children in Vietnam, you know, they got to see a different side of beauty that they don't typically see every day. Mm -hmm. So to me, it was like I'm paving the way for the next generation of women of color. So that way they're not always, you know, we're not often represented in the media as educated, as beautiful. We're often portrayed as, you know, violent or the aggressor. So for them to have maybe their first experience with a woman of color and it's me and they're happy to see me, they're embracing me. I feel like that was just, I don't, I don't even know how to explain that feeling. Love it was it. just yeah. amazing. And I know that the next Belizean woman, she, you know, she'll be looked at in a positive light and not something negative. Definitely, I love that. And you're so right. The first impression that people get mm -hmm. is something that lasts with them and so that carries on. Right. And so it's really important that we carry ourselves in a way that people can remember yes. us in a positive manner. And so you mentioned today that you're going to be planting mangroves from 9 to 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. So could you tell us a little bit about that initiative? What else is planned for today? Yes, so I have a few things planned that I've been doing all week um, leading up to today. 
So this initiative is just to showcase the importance of the mangroves because, you know, they help us with our with erosion. And usually they're on the coast, so they prevent like flooding and protects the mainland. So I think it's a great initiative that Blue Economy is doing. Aside from that, I will be traveling down south after, so it will be a long day. I get to go home to PG. I am from Punta Gorda, so I finally get to go home. I haven't been in a while. Okay. Uh, so we have some really fun projects that we'll be doing there over the weekend. Do you want to give us a scoop? You want to give us a scoop on it? Because yeah. it's kind of <laughs> like that. Yeah. So, I went to school in a village called Barranco. So, most people have heard of it, but of have course. never, you know, went there to visit. So, I'm one of those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I def well, you should definitely go, go visit. Um, but I haven't been back since I won my crown and my sash. So, I'm going back and we're doing a huge event with the Belize Tourism Board. So we're going to be, I have a nonprofit there, so we usually do community feeds within, with the children. So we're going to do a big community feed, some, a really big event, and hand out some school supplies. Can you tell us a little bit more about your nonprofit so people can maybe you know, be more involved, volunteer, offer services, or whatever it is? Yeah, so um, Operation Kingdom is a nonprofit based in South Belize, Southern Belize, and we aid to combat child hunger as well as raise awareness of sustainability. We really focus on the children in the villages that don't necessarily get the same opportunities or resources as opposed to the children who live in the city. So we help them with school supplies, we do feed-in events for them, and really just try to get them connected as much as possible. So right now I have the perfect platform to inspire and influence, so I definitely want to go to those communities and share my story with them to let them know if I could do it, you could do it as well. So, so it's the perfect time to go back this weekend. Awesome. And so on that same note where when it comes to offering services and help, it would be good for the business community to maybe see if they can yes. donate some food, school items and stuff like that. that would yes, be absolutely. So school items are definitely welcomed and encouraged. Um, tablets are very popular right now because of the pandemic. Everything has been online. So if anyone would like to donate any tablets or laptops, feel free to reach out to me. Do you have like a, a Facebook page? Uh, so we have an email website? address, operationkingdom at gmail.com. And, you know, my parents are also the founders of it. So it's a family nonprofit, but they're not as tech savvy. So I'm trying to, I'm doing a little bit of everything here. So you're teaching them how yeah. to do these things. Yes. I can imagine, I can imagine teaching a parent how to, you got to do it like this. You got to yeah. angle it like this. Like, it looks right. the same to me. <laughs> Right. So, Destiny, today is Earth Day, and of course, we've been we've been talking about it's one of the biggest um, environmental conscious activities that happens globally. There's billions mm -hmm. of people that do something meaningful for for Mother Earth. You know, mm -hmm. we we part of the solution. So let's let's do something. What's your conservation message to Belizeans today? There's a lot <laughs> of messages that I have to share. But I think the main thing that we should do is go back to our ancestral. Um, our ancestors and look at what they've done because they've done an amazing job with sustainability and farming and livestock and I think right now that that's important more than ever for Belizeans to be more in touch with far with farming. It's a way of living and it is extremely sustainable for our environment and most importantly for ourselves. So I would definitely encourage Belizeans to get involved and plant trees, plant fruits, plant vegetables because at the end of the day, suppose we do have another pandemic and, you know, there shouldn't be a food shortage in Belize at all because we're surrounded by agriculture. I yeah, think. and you can definitely have backyard space to do your own yeah, garden. Exactly, right? <laughs> exactly. So aside from that, I also want to emphasize fast fashion. Here it's very hard to get, you know, clothing. We usually get our clothing from abroad or from the States. And a lot of times those companies are mass producing and we are just doing it because, you know, there's not a lot of options here in Belize. But I do want to take the time to say support your local entrepreneurs, yes. support your local fashion designers because they're not mass producing. They're making a livelihood and most likely everything that they're producing is locally sourced. So um, when I think people think about Earth Day, they more think about the forest part or, yeah. um, you know, the floras and all these different things. Could you talk a little bit about the ocean and the importance of the ocean in Earth Day as well and how we play a key role by the Caribbean Sea, yes, you know, with all our yes. rivers and all these different things, these bodies of water? I, I definitely agree. There's so many factors that contribute to Earth. We are, Earth, this is Earth right now. Yeah. Me and you are our Earth. Um, I think that our oceans, Belize, 
basically does a really good job at protecting our oceans. We are one of the pioneers when it comes to marine conservation. So big up Belize because <laughs> they, a lot of countries can learn from yeah. us. But as far as the masses being aware of you know, what's happening or what methods to take to protect our ocean. It's, it's very simple. You don't want to overfish and you don't want to bring plastic into, you know, into the ocean or limit your single-use plastics in general because a lot of times they do end up in the ocean, which contaminates our, our food, our food source. So I'm a scuba diver. Oh, and nice. <laughs> Girl, you're planting trees, you scuba diving, you do yeah. the most. <laughs> so, you know, I get to see firsthand of, you know, how beautiful our ocean is, the biodiversity. So it's really important that I spread that message of just protecting our ocean and don't go out to the Keys and be reckless with your friends and don't pick up after yourself. Definitely. Really take initiative and... Yeah, you know, I, I, I like that you mentioned that we're Earth, right? Because we often would kind of, kind of tend to disassociate ourselves from nature and be like, we're here, humans, nature is there. Yeah. When in reality, we are all one. So I, I definitely love that you highlighted that because that's, that's, that's how we get to like, care for our environment, recognizing that whatever we do impacts the environment and whatever happens in the environment impacts, impacts us. us. Yes, yeah. and you know, we're the number one, well, scientists say that we're the number one cause of climate change because mm -hmm. every decision that we make, whether we notice it or not, really, it, you know, it, it plays a part when it comes to our environmental state. Deciding what deodorant you're going to wear, what toothbrush you're going to wear, how long Hair you sprays. stay in the shower, that you know, it, it may be a little a micro action, but in the in the long term, it could really affect us in a negative way. Yeah. So, you know, this title has made me more conscious, um, and it changed me for the better. So, I'm just hoping now that I get to just push this positive message out. So, we know that the search for the next Miss Earth has begun. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? What's happening on the scene? How you're so excited about yes. it too as well. I mean, I think when you get a position as an ambassador, you know, you don't want to just come in and focus on me, 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 I, I, I. So I'm really excited for the next generation of women and how I can help them in any way, of uh, any way possible and share my experience with them and guide them because this is something new to me as well. So I'm still learning every single day. And it, I didn't really have anyone there. I'm pretty sure a lot of you saw the controversy that was online. So mm -hmm. I really suffered in silence and I don't want no one else to go through that experience. So I'm really happy for the next girl. We have new leadership and you have someone like me who genuinely wants you to win. So if anyone is interested in Miss Earth Belize, we have a Facebook page and you can also reach out to me personally. I'll be more than happy to share some more information. But you know, I'm the first, but I will not be the last. Definitely. And I am, you know, I'm pretty positive about that. Definitely. I love it. I'm the same Miss Earth no, vibe and just in general Earth Day. I have a question in regards to some people that I know have that mentality that when it comes to the planet and us in general, Belize is one of the smaller countries and we don't contribute much to our carbon footprint and it doesn't make a big deal if we do something or not do mm -hmm. something. So could you just tell us as a, you know ambassador, why it's important for us, even if we're in a small country, even if we have the world's largest barrier reef, even if yeah. we're like champions when it comes to the ocean and all these things, why is it still important as young people, as people in general, that we still push for Earth Day, that we still benefit and conserve our Earth? I think the smaller countries should definitely be pushing for you know, Earth Day and conservation more than any other country because we're the ones who are affected by the other countries who are who are mass producing or greenwashing, which is a form of advertising something that's eco-friendly, although really there's little to no change. So we're the, the small countries, we're the one who should be loud and holding them accountable. So for us to think that, you know, it doesn't involve us because we're so small, that's a, you know, an ignorant way of looking at it. You know, we have to educate ourselves and be aware of what's happening around us in our neighboring countries because what, you know, who, who knows? They have an oil spill that can eventually go into our oceans, contaminate our food or they're mass producing what they could probably be dumping something within our, you know, within our areas. So don't, don't look at it from that, you know, from that angle. You know, we definitely want to be aware, educate ourselves and speak out. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. And, and, as, and as young people, we're getting told that we're the leaders of tomorrow, yes. but tomorrow is really uncertain. So build your leadership today, exactly. find your trap today, and, and go do something. So you're going to be at Buttonwood Bay, did you say? No, uh, uh, Seashore, pa yeah, Seashore, Seashore Park. So is that in 
button would weigh? Yeah. I yeah, believe so. I'm yes. not from the city, so, so I'm so, I can still get confused. <laughs> it's Seashore Park, Park today. Blue County. Yes, right, right in front of Blue County. Yeah, okay, oh, so okay, you guys perfect. Park. Yeah. There you go. So if you want to volunteer and, and meet Destiny and contribute to uh, coastal conservation, you're going to be planting mangroves today starting at 9? Yes, 9 starting to 12. At 9, 9 to 12. Exciting. So go out there, support your community, support conservation. Destiny Wagner, thank you so much for being here with us today. We absolutely are so thankful that you took the time to grace us with your appearance and, of course, your beauty. And we have a song because it's your second time on the show and we said second time is a dance. No, third time is a dance, but because she's this special. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Say yes, you tell me say yes. Oh, say yes. <laughs> yes, yes, okay, yes. All right, so. um, I didn't want to lie to a queen. Come on, man, you, you just pick your lies. And so with that, we have a great song that you can just grace us with as we get off and go into the next segment, which is going to be flavorful. So. Oh, so city, que rico, papi.